And that's what I promised you, that you become more independent, more yourself, really involved and learned and have a kind of thing on which you can rely that it can keep on learning all your life. Because if you believe me or not, anybody, the moment he stops really learning, if he learns nothing at all, has only a repetitive routine work, is dead already, even if he's 25 years old. And you know people who are senile at the age of 25, who get a job and then and then, and then keeps on doing the, exactly the same thing for the rest of his life, and gets so regulated that he must read a, or she must read a paper, or must do that thing at a given hour, at a given moment, get out of bed and does exactly the same thing day in, day out, would never want to change the lessons from 10 in the morning to the evening at 12 would be a major tragedy. It's a major effort of imagination. And some just can't go over it, would find it impossible. Please bend your knees again. Cross your legs. Lift your arms. And now just, oh, before you do that, put your arms on the floor and tilt your legs and see how much the tilting has improved to that silly differentiation of moving the eyes in the opposite direction or moving it with the pillows. Just feel yourself. What did you do before? How far does it go now? And the quality of the movement. Can you see it's very dear how to believe? that a few movements with the eye in the opposite direction make such a change on our ability to move the legs to the side, twisting the entire body. Therefore, an enormous change in the tonal organization of the self has, has occurred. How could that be? This, of course, could never happen if you didn't have a nervous system. This could never happen if our nervous system was not wired in through the, our own experience from the external world. If it were physiological, a inherited pattern, just like the barking of a dog, just like any of the other instinctive or reflective actions of lower mammals, and they also have a nervous system, they can also learn, but their learning is so much slower, while to us learning is the principle, the most important quality of our brain. See? It, if we didn't learn to move the head and the eyes in the same direction through our own experience, for many years. And in spite that in some chances, in some functions, we do actually move them in the opposite directions. But then we take it as a specific learning for a specific case. We do not realize that when we keep the eyes going in the same direction, we actually continue a habit ad nauseum. In other words, we take the brain and make it into a computer that can do it only one way. And therefore, use this brain as if it were a piece of junk, a piece of hardware that can do only one function, it have one pressure, is a real shame for humanity. Can you see my contention? That these things have been learned, and therefore, if we learn them and form the habit, and form the pattern in ourselves, which we do not check any time or inter intervene any time to see, is that actually a, a relative thing? Is I, am I made like that? Or have I 
learned it and I could alter it and make my real choice have be able to make choices. Now lie down on your back and rest a little. And it's an extraordinary thing. That is this. As there is only one Quran or one Bible or one book, the Yemenis. I saw it first with the Yemenis Jews. A Yemenis Jews was in the train while I was traveling from Tel Aviv to Haifa. And I saw a delicate, beautiful face with a black beard, delicate eyes, a wonderful expression of intelligence. And I saw the chap holding, reading a book, but holding it in such a way that I could read it. But he had it upside down. And I saw he looked and looked and looked and turned page after page. And I had I gave the impression that I was reading because you could see on his face changing impression, looking and then thinking and then continuing reading. And obviously he understood what he was reading. Now, the book was upside down. It means he had the, the writing, the print was turned towards me, was set in front of him. I was so intrigued that I couldn't, I couldn't last without asking. Say, ask him, can you read? He, he looked at me as if I were completely crazy. He said, don't you see I'm reading? I say, then if you read, is that the way of holding a book while reading? How can you read upside down? He looked at me and thought the man is completely an idiot. She said, what's the difference if you take it that way or that way? It's the same thing. I said, yes, but I can't read that way. He said, can't you? <laughs> he said, you're a funny person. You can't read that way. He took the book and read aloud like that, then put it like that, read aloud like that, turned it around like that in any bloody direction with the same ease. Then obviously I realized that I was the idiot, not he. <laughs> and I found that I, reading, I've read up to now not much, about 10,000 books. And I can read them only when turning them like that. Then he say, how did you learn to do it? He said, I, I never knew that. I always saw, he said, that the Europeans, very clever people, can't read but one way. I thought they could never explain to me why. How come that they are so clever, can do so many things, make planes and think, but can't read the book when it's turned a little bit? It turns out that they never formed that sort of link in the brain that we make while we learn from the external world to read and write. We, the people in front of us put the book and they think always in that same way. And then look at that, think. Those who can't understand theory and believe that I'm not doing enough theory. Can you see that that linkage in the brain, because that book is presented to us always like that, that we can't read the book upside down any more than we could move the eyes to the left while we move the head to the right. And that is not an inherent physiological quality, but a, a wiring in made through our own experience from the external world. Therefore, our brain is wired in, and it is a, an immobile in the formable pattern that we can go and die with it and we will feel that we can't read with the book upside down. There is no such difficulty for that Yemen a Jew. And of course there is no such difficulty for any of the Bedouins who learn in the same way. There is a teacher sits on the floor, has one book, because it's very difficult to get a book in the Yemen desert. So he has one book, the children sit around, and everyone sees the book from a different angle, and he learns to read. This is a ba 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 ba. The children learn to read like that, and then the child sits here, like I ask you to change position. Next day he may sit there, so he sees the same thing from the other side, and his brain is wired in to see the letters in any direction as they are. 
but our brain is too silly to be under to understand that this has to do also with turning the legs to the left and the eyes to the right that it is a kind of quality that everyone has but in fact it has been eliminated because of um, ignorance and because of scientific ignorance how come that our teachers don't know that how come that our parents don't know that how come that half the scientific world has that in all their books? Yeah, about how we function. Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that a shame for humanity?